Assalamu alaikum with the vision hope that you are in good state of your health and uh, doing well uh, this is the third uh, lecture on digital logic design lab and today we are going to cover XOR and XNOR gates in previous labs we have discussed the basic gates and OR and NOT gates this is this was a symbol of AND gate and this is the boolean expression for AND gate A dot B the output is basically dependent on this is a just quick review a and b were the input of the system and a dot b is a system's output this is the symbol for or gate and again uh, there are two inputs a and b and the output of this system is one uh, single output that is y is the output of the system the boolean expression for or logical operation that performed on these two inputs are a plus b this is how you express the output in terms of boolean expression and this is the third gate not gate the symbol for not gate is this this is a single input and single output gate uh, which inverts basically input uh, logic if the input is one or high logic then the output will be low logic and vice versa so this was the first lab that we covered then we covered uh, the universal gates NAND and NOR gates the symbol for NAND gate is this it is similar to AND gate except one difference that there is a bubble at the output and the output is inverted uh, the output is inverted uh, AND gate output is if you uh, convert the AND gate output and invert it put a bar on it then it will become an AND gate table and similarly or gate symbol is similar to or gate uh, but with the difference that there is a bubble at the output so if the bubble is there then it becomes it will become nor gate the output expression is again uh, inverted so it is similar to or gate except the change that there is a bubble here and there is a bar on the output so you can create the truth table for nor gate using the or gate so these two were basically nand and nor gates are universal gates you can create any uh, any gates using these two gates you can using nor gate you can make not gate or gate and gate and using nor gate you can make these gates and using NAND gate you can also make these gates so you don't have to keep uh, these ICs with you if you have NAND gate then you can create uh, any gate using this IC so this is the advantage of uh, universal gate this is what we covered in lab number two now today we are going to cover XOR and XNOR gate you can also create XOR and XNOR gate using universal gates but today we are going to discuss what is XOR gate and XNOR gate and we will have a example in this in today's lab so basically XOR gate is if the both inputs are same then the output will be low if both inputs are different then output will be high so the boolean expression or logical operation that performs on this is uh, a plus uh, this is the symbol for ZOR and B so there are two inputs A and B and one output that is represented as, as X so this is the boolean expression that represents the operation performed on input and the output will be uh, uh, in this manner if both inputs are different then the output will be high if both inputs are same then output will be zero Thik, uh, okay so this is the IC for XOR gate 7486 and we can see here as well in simulation that this is a XOR gate connected to two inputs A and B and there is a single output LED which will indicate the logic operation either it is high or low if it is high the uh, LED will glow and if it is low then LED will uh, not glow and uh, that represents that the output logic is low 
So we have made a simple circuit. There are two inputs A and B. If both are connected to this point, at this point and this point, they are connected to ground. That means zero logic is a supply to this uh, XOR gates input. And if these are connected to this point, then it is connected to VCC 5 volts. If both inputs are connected there, then a high logic will be applied to both input. If any one of is connected to the uh, bottom terminal and one is connected to the top terminal, then it will supply high logic on A and low logic, low logic on B. So we will run this simulation and we will say as we discuss if both inputs are different the output will be high if both inputs are same then output will be low so uh, if uh, both uh, again if both inputs are different the output is high if both inputs are same then output is low here a, a and b both are high logic at high logic then the output is low now the both signals are at low logic then again output is low if a is high and b is low then the output is high if a is low and b is high then output is high so now we will construct this circuit how we can make this circuit on multi sim so for that i will delete that now first you need to take the ic the ic for XOR gate is 7486 so you search the IC and here the symbol represent that it is a XOR gate also this is a quad 2 input XOR gate quad means 4 uh, ICs in a package 2 input means that each bit has 2 inputs and 1 output so you will take this now this is asking uh, uh, as it was quad uh, Quad XOR gate, then there are four gates A, B, C, D uh, correspondingly. So you are selecting the gate A from uh, this means that each IC has four gates. So you can use four gates from each IC and then you can have a new IC if you require more gates. So I have selected a gate and since I don't need uh, more uh, gates, so I cancel this. Now I need to have switches to uh, give input to my system so I will go to all family groups and I will go to switch then you can select this SPDT switch and bring it here now you can see you can change the uh, logic of this gate using a space if uh, you want to uh, change it using a b so that it will be more convenient for you to remember that this is your input a and this is your input b you can also flip this uh, in vertical and horizontal direction but we will flip this in horizontal direction so our out output of this uh, is on the right side and the input is on the left side now we can copy this using control C and control V and you can have multiple uh, we can have multiple uh, switches here you can also change the key for here you need, just need to double click on this key and you can change the button to change the switch position now we need power supplies for supplying ground and VCC so you will click on this sources and you will select this VCC to supply high logic okay and you need ground to supply low logic okay close now we will connect these with VCC and we will connect these with ground to supply low logic you can also change the color of these wires you just need to right click and change color and you can select as black at black so this is black and this is red so it will be more visibly clear that these uh, where these wires go and 
so on. Now the output of this A is connected to one input of X or IC and the second is connected to the second input. You can also change the color of these as well. Maybe something green. Change color. Okay, now we need to connect an output, uh, but uh, we cannot connect an LED directly. We need to use a resistor to uh, control the current through resistor. So we will add a series resistor of 330 ohms. And now you need an LED to display your logic. There are different colors available. You can select any one. I am selecting the green one. Now you need to connect them. Now you need to connect it to the ground to complete the circuit. So this is how we can make circuits on multisim. Now we need to run this button. And since both inputs are same, the output is low. If any, if the both inputs are different, then the output will be uh, high if both inputs are same then output will be low so this is how you create xor gate similarly we have the second gate xor gate which is the invert of the xor gate uh, this gate also have two inputs and one output y and this is the boolean expression for xor gate you can implement XNOR gate using this A and uh, using uh, NOR gate IC. So uh, basically, this is the implementation of XNOR gate using NOR gate, which is universal gate, which I uh, gave you a quick review that this is XNOR, uh, this is NOR gate, which is universal gate, and you can create any gate using this gate. So this is how you can create XNOR gate using NOR gate IC. Uh, for this you will require four gates which is available in a package so you have to create the circuit on multisim and simulate it and create a truth table for XOR gate and XNOR gate I have performed this task for you XOR gate you have to perform this task XNOR gate using NOR gate IC the NOR gate IC number is this 7402 you need to search that IC and uh, bring four gates you have to connect them in this manner you have to connect an output LED over here and two inputs A and B as I connected here for XOR gate this is my input A and B so in similar fashion you have to place the whole circuit in between here if I can drag it over here so you have to uh, uh, you have to put the whole circuit over here after making the circuit you have to fill up this truth table uh, by supplying different logics to both inputs and you have to fill up this now uh, this is a sample question consider a chemical dispensing system that has two chemicals in it the system dispenses one chemical at a time. There are two push buttons, PB1 for chemical A and PB2 for chemical B. You can rename the switches as well. You just need to double click on S1 and need to go label and you can call it PB1 and you may call it PB2 label PB2 to have more uh, similarity to your task that PB1 for chemical A and PB2 for chemical B and a single output valve the output valve uh, you can uh, just for to show that your logic is performing well you can connect an LED here but this can be uh, uh, connected to a, a solenoid valve which will activate or deactivate and dispense the chemical accordingly
in case when both push buttons are pressed this is uh, what your logical uh, what logic you need to create in case if both buttons are pushed or pressed simultaneously in chemical no chemical will be dispensed from the output well so this means if both inputs are same both input uh, both buttons are pressed then there should be no chemical uh, no chemical should be dispensed now you need to draw a circuit for the above condition and show the truth table so this is your task and you have to draw xor gate using nor gate so we have draw x nor gate using nor gate now you have to make xor gate circuit using x uh, using nor gate so this is your task too you have to perform both tasks make simulation uh, verify your uh, logic op operation and then you need to submit them through lms in the prescribed format which i told earlier that you need to create a word document with headers and footers in the header you have to mention your name roll number and lab task number this is lab task number three and in footer you need to add date and page number page one of one so that if there are four pages then it should uh, display page one of four page two of four page three of four or page four of four so in this manner you have to submit your task through lms uh, i wish you good health and inshallah we will, i will uh, uh, inshallah we will uh, meet soon with the new topic on digital logic design lab till then take care allah hafiz